Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priyanka Gupta and today I am going to discuss about laparoscopic surgeries. Before I discuss that, I want you to understand what does gynecology mean. Being a gynecologist means that I will deal all the female reproductive problems which are not related to pregnancy. Pregnancy related problems are dealt under section of obstetrics. By gynecology I mean that all the problems of the female reproductive part which are not related to pregnancy will be dealt with. Now the external genitalia problems they are usually dealt by the vaginal side so they are done by vaginal surgeries. The internal reproductive parts that is the uterus, the tubes, the ovaries, the cervix commonly any lesion, any problem in that area if surgery is required that can be done by open surgeries or by laparoscopic surgeries. Since ages open surgery has been done. And also please know that laparoscopic surgery is also being done since decades. But unfortunately, still in our country, many people think that laparoscopy is something new. But understand, laparoscopy also in our country has been undergoing decades. But yes, now it is more modified and more safe and even more approachable and affordable to the patients. So what is laparoscopic surgery? See, usually in the open surgeries, a big incision was made on the abdomen. The abdomen was opened in layers and whatever the problem was, example fibroid, ovarian cyst, that was moved. The abdomen layer was sutured back and of course the patient had a big scar, she had a lot of pain and she had restricted activities for a few months also. Now with the advancement, the laparoscopy, only a 10 mm, that is only 1 cm incision is taken and few other, that is 3 to 4 small ports, that is 5 mm incisions will be taken to do the surgery. So you can definitely understand that the same surgery is being done but very small incisions. So it is obvious that the patient will have very minimal pain and her post-operative recovery will be very smooth. Also the restrictions of normal activities as well as she can resume to go, go to her office also. Now how is it done? Laparoscopy is done under general anesthesia, that is the patient is fully unconscious. Of course, we require special equipments to do the laparoscopy. A full monitor that in which a camera is actually put inside the abdomen and also a pneumoperitoneum is created in the abdomen cavity. By pneumoperitoneum, I mean that we are inflating, we are inflating and distending the abdomen by putting CO2 gas. Why we are doing this? To create space to do the surgery. Of course, after the surgery, this whole pneumoperitoneum is taken out. Also, with the help of very special devices and instruments, we perform the whole surgery. In the open surgery, almost all the sutures are taken. Every time we are taking a stitch with the help of suture. But in laparoscopy, the, the work of stitch is being taken by electrocautery, which is very safe when performed with caution. All the type of gynecological surgeries of uterus like fibroid, adenomyoma, any lesion of the tube like hydrosalphings or any ovarian cyst, even complicated surgeries like deep endometriosis despite lot of additions etc can be safely and effectively performed by experts hands. Of course laparoscopy requires a learning curve for surgeons but it is very easy if one gets expert in that. So the main advantage of laparoscopy is of course that it is very cost effective. Though the laparoscopy is pretty expensive when compared to the open but the rest is very less and the patient can resume to her activities or office very soon and hence it is very cost effective. The patient does not have pain. The post operative complications remain very low when performed under expert hands. The disadvantages of laparoscopy is of course, as I told, it is pretty expensive. But know that as I told, there are a lot of special devices which are required to do the laparoscopic surgeries, which includes a monitor, a CO2 gas, camera system, a very trained staff, anesthesia and surgeon. And, but So that is the reason it is expensive. But again, it is cost effective. Also understand that the disadvantage of laparoscopy are almost same to open. That is, if any complication like bleeding, infections or some fistulas happen or any anesthesia complications happen, that is almost, the rates are almost same as to open. Laparoscopy per se does not have any extra uh, complication rates. But still some myths are still prevailing in our country. Some are that hernia will happen after the surgery. 
so please understand that if you have a 6 to 7 cm incision or 1 cm incision which will have a higher risk of having hernia of course it will be 6 to 7 cm but still i am not saying that there is no 0% hernia in laparoscopy but all doctors while suturing the 10 mm port always close the rectus sheath that is a strong support to the abdomen to prevent the hernia formation another myth which prevails is that there will be back pain so please understand back pain is not due to laparoscopy or in fact any other surgery it is usually because per se there is vitamin d deficiency or other lesion but laparoscopy will not cause you back pain some other myths which prevail is that what will happen if the gas inside is remaining so all the doctors ensure that the pneumoperitoneum or the gas which was used to inflate or distend the abdomen is taken out but whatever little is remaining will always be absorbed in the abdomen and hence in the body and that will be exhaled off so that is not of much concern post operatively the patients are mobilized very soon in fact in today's era we do day care hysterectomies that is the patient can be discharged even on the same day or maximum within 24 hours so please understand that laparoscopy is very safe very cost effective and is the standard of surgery today thank you